Okay, so what is your response to the governor's uh, statements this afternoon? Um, we caught most of, of his statements. It, uh, for better or worse, it's most of the same. Um, governor Stitt wants to talk about the rates, and I don't blame him for that. Um, the tribes have never said they're not prepared to talk about the rates with Governor Stitt or the state who our conversation is really with. But Governor Stitt and the state have so far insisted on disregarding the plain terms of our compact and insisted on the, uh, their position that our compact expires. Uh, that is the central issue. Uh, we filed our complaint in federal court to reestablish stability and certainty uh, against what Governor Stitt has been attempting to manufacture. Um, he has now answered our complaint, which is good. Uh, in those two pleadings, I think if you look at them, you'll see that both sides generally agree that we've got to resolve the renewal issue. Once we deal with the renewal issue, then we can all figure out how to deal with each other on the rest of the issues. Um, but I want to be very clear on this. Governor Stitt has never proposed renegotiation of just the rates. He has proposed tearing up our compact, the agreement that was offered to the tribes, that the tribes accepted, and we've abided for 15 years, and starting over from scratch. That is simply not a position the tribes have ever been willing to accept. And we're now in federal court. Uh, we look forward to a federal judge looking at the law and the facts and reestablishing the stability that we all owe. He's confident he's going to win this case. Question after is, what if he does win? Is that in class two gaming? Class two? I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Class three. Class you. three gaming. Um, if the tri if there is no legal compact in effect, then there is no class three gaming. True, true statement. Um, we will see how the court rules on it. I know that Chickasaw Choctaw and Cherokee looked at this carefully, um, and they evaluated. You know, there's no guarantees when you go into court. We're prepared for whatever the result is. Uh, but we're, we're confident, but we're sober. Um, and we're going to do what we need to do to protect the tribe's sovereignty and to protect the rights under the agreement we have. You can still be class two in those positions. Absolutely. 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 If a federal judge does uh, rule that the compacts do uh, go under the
What in the editorial that uh, he released today, he indicated uh, that he would like to have a, a fee structure that uh, goes The single most important ingredients that has driven tribal unity on this position is the, the shared sense among tribal leaders that they're not going to stand by while yet another government 
tries to walk away from an agreement that the tribes entered into. There's a really strong principle that undergirds the tribal position on this. At the same time, all Oklahomans are part of a big extended family, and that includes the tribal citizens as well as folks who work for the state government. We're going to get through this family squabble and we're going to get through to the other side, but we're going to insist that we abide the law and the plain language of our